GRC is an area of cybersecurity that many people are looking to learn about and get into. Governance, risk, and compliance are massive parts of the way companies function. Now, I recently completed the GRC Mastery course. And GRC Mastery is a course created by Unix Guy, who is a cybersecurity expert with many years of experience in GRC. He's worked in cyber for over 20 years and was also a recent guest on my podcast. So I got to have a great conversation with him as well. But in this video, we'll be breaking down the GRC Mastery course to show what you would learn if you took the course, but also whether it's actually worth taking. And by the end of this video, you will know whether GRC Mastery is worth you taking. And you will also learn a thing or two about GRC itself from me reviewing this course and talking about what I learned. So GRC Mastery is a comprehensive GRC training course. The instructor Unix guy talks you through the theory and the knowledge, but also brings in lots of practical and hands-on activity. It's worth mentioning that there are no prerequisites for this course, so you don't have to have done any IT courses before, and it will be something that you'll be able to understand without having any prior experience. So it's definitely a great course for anyone looking to land their first role in cybersecurity. It takes you through what you need to know as a cybersecurity professional, and it's not too complicated for complete beginners. Now let's run through the modules in this course to give you guys an understanding of what you'd learn if you took this. First things first, we have an introduction to GRC. Governance, risk, compliance. An introduction and explanation of each of these areas as well as examples to go along with each of these. The instructor breaks down exactly how GRC fits into cybersecurity consulting. Once you have a good introduction to GRC and how it fits into cybersecurity consulting, you can then move on to the next module, which is cybersecurity risk management, which is something that is super important to understand. We talk about identifying threats, conducting risk assessments, the risk registers, things like the CIA triad, and dive in on various cybersecurity frameworks. Now, a key thing to remember whilst taking the course is that as you're going through each module at the end, there is a practical assessment that you will then go through. And this really helps you ensure that you really understand what you've been learning in the modules. And at some point in this course, that encapsulates a lot of what you've learned in the course, but we'll get to that. In this module, we dived into things like NIST and OASP and various frameworks that are really important to understand in GRC. And moving on to the third module, it was another big one, cybersecurity audit. Now audit is essentially examining or verifying the company's controls and operations. It's used to ensure that everything is accurate and well done according to various frameworks and benchmarks. And the instructor walks us through the various lines of audit. You know, sometimes audits can be internal and come from your own team, you know, auditing systems that someone within the company has produced. Or perhaps it's an external audit coming from a consultancy where people come in and look at the system and see what's there and what's not there. And they can even recommend that something changes or they could be more serious consequences. Just, these were all things well covered within the course. And from there, we moved on to key areas such as asset management, identity and access management, and security education and awareness. Three super important areas of GRC. And I'll quickly run through some key things I learned from them. Now, when speaking about asset management, the instructor runs through the different stages of asset management. He talks about asset identification and then classification. And he also runs through how these assets are stored and managed in an inventory or a database. Then moving on to identity and access management or IAM. The instructor teaches about authentication, which is a super important part of cybersecurity. And he talks about multi-factor authentication and how this really relates to GRC. Then moved on to authorization, talking about when an identity is authenticated, what are they allowed to access and do within the systems? The section even dives into privileged access management, which touches on how privileged roles within the system course roles with a lot more access to things access to management of systems and that sort of thing how these roles are managed within an environment then we dived into security education and awareness which is a really interesting part of this course we talk a lot about phishing within cybersecurity. this dived a little bit deeper into phishing and social engineering and how the education of users in that environment, especially non-technical users, really does a lot for the company. Education and awareness programs provide so much more insight for non-technical users or users in general within a company or an environment. And to briefly run through some of the other modules covered, now module seven covers data security and DLP. The course dives into the real ways we can protect our data. The instructor goes into things like labeling and encryption and how these methods of data protection are used in a company environment. He even dives further into things like data in transit and data at rest and how these things vary. 
A reminder that each of these modules have their own knowledge checks, which is three or four questions for each module to make sure that you've retained everything that you've learned. The course then moves into cybersecurity detection and incident response. We talk about detection and monitoring. We talk about SIMS. We talk about how incident response works in a cybersecurity environment. And Unix guy even tells us a little bit about MSSPs and how they work, which was really interesting. That's all I'll say. Now, the next two modules in the course were third party risk management. And the final module was penetration testing and vulnerability management. As you can probably tell from the modules I've mentioned in this course, these are some fundamental things to really understand for pretty much anyone working in cybersecurity. Now, you may have the perception that GRC roles is just its own thing and cybersecurity roles are completely different. But no, although GRC is a specific area of cyber, it is involved in pretty much every cybersecurity role. And that's why the course was so great for me to learn and understand this stuff. A lot of what I covered in this course dived a little bit deeper into stuff that I'd known and heard of already, but didn't really understand a lot of the things I did understand already and know pretty well. But altogether, it was really good for diving into this area of GRC. It helped me to have a refresher on certain areas and also dive deeper into bits of cybersecurity that I hadn't covered before providing hands-on activity to help these things really stick and stay in my memory. And speaking of hands-on activity, the final part of the course was the capstone project. And in this project, you design a comprehensive cybersecurity program. As I said, the practical in this course really helps you learn and do the thing along with learning the thing, as I always say. And the capstone project was really cool because after, you know, you gave your attempt at doing this project, the instructor, Unix guy, went through each part of the project and gave a detailed description of what each section should look like. Really showing off his years of experience in cybersecurity and showing how exactly you use the NIST framework in the cybersecurity space and for GRC projects and activities. And as a bonus, the course also has a section talking about getting hired as a GRC professional with tips on applying to GRC jobs, writing cover letters and CVs, and also adding that you've completed the GRC mastery course to your LinkedIn, just like I did.